Can we talk about how fucking cute this little swoop is? This was a happy accident that happened today and I'm keeping it. Hey guys, it's me and today I am here with a new video and it is the beginning of a new series here on my channel and I'm very excited to be launching it because it's something that is very exciting but it's also going to be very crazy and stressful and I'm not looking forward to that part of this journey but everything else I am very much excited for. Before we get into the juicy details of this video though, I'm gonna need you guys to go ahead and hit that subscribe button that's down below. Go ahead and do that and also like this video because that'll help me out a lot. And follow me on my different social media links. They are always linked down in the description box below. I would pop them up on the screen so you guys can go do things that way, but I am not that good with editing yet, so we're just gonna have to deal with the links down below. So go follow me on places like Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, my blog, and Snapchat. So yeah. But today we are launching a series in which I am gonna be documenting the process of me growing out my death hawk. Yes, I'm growing out my death hawk entirely. Or at least I'm gonna try to. If you guys watched my video, called Listen to Me Battle About Myself for 20 minutes. Um, in that video I talked about how I wanted to grow out the back portion of my death hawk because over like the year and a half or so that I've had it, when it comes to like trimming it up in the back in particular, I started like shaving off way too much in the back. Uh, so much to the point where now I'm on the verge of undercut territory. As you can see, it's very high up there. It's not super high, but it's definitely very close to like undercut territory. And that is a look that I'm not going for, or at least at this point in time it's not a look that I'm going for. Maybe sometime later on in the future maybe, but as of right now, it's not. It's not a look for me. Originally the plan was just to grow out the back, so that way I can like get just a little bit of fullness back. But then about, I'd say about maybe a month ago, I started seeing photos of myself from about like a year or two ago when I had like my double side cut and having all that fullness and everything and I started missing the fullness and so I was just like you know what let's go back to having a double side cut and so that's what I thought that I was going to do but now about maybe like a week or two ago I was just like you know what let's try let's try and going back to having a head full of hair again let's see if I can actually do that and this part, I'm not so sure if it's actually going to go through or anything. It's something that I'm wanting to try and I'm really am wanting to try. Like the more that I think about it, the more excited I get about it. So it probably is going to go through. It's just that it's going to be even more crazy and more stressful than just growing out my hair to being back to a double side cut. So yeah that that part i'm not looking forward to like i mentioned earlier like this is definitely something that i'm really wanting to do and i'm very excited about it but as i keep saying i'm also very nervous the main reason why i'm a bit nervous about this process is the fact that i have naturally curly hair i don't know how well you guys can tell right now because we're only two months in but like my hair is starting to get a little bit squirrely you can really tell like in the back that it's starting to like curl a little bit. This is where we're at at two months and I will be updating you guys on the series every two months. In March I will be doing the second installment of this so that will be the four month mark. Actually no that video probably won't go up until probably the beginning of April because this video I think is probably going to go up at the beginning of February I think maybe. Yeah it's going to go up right at the beginning of February so um because it's currently the 25th right now that I'm filming it um, and I have a video that's got to go up this weekend and once that video goes up you guys will definitely be able to see just like how curly my hair is when it's short because back in the day back when I was younger like I started growing out my hair for those of you who don't know at the beginning of 2009 when I was 13 and prior to that I had always gotten buzz cuts and once my hair hits a certain length which is usually around like well, three or four months, my hair is like mad 
curly and it's just curling around itself and just curling around my head and I pretty much have like a curly fro essentially and that's what I'm worried about that's the bit that I am terrified about is like my hair is gonna be just like this big curly mess and it's just gonna look so crazy on the sides and the only thing we're gonna be able to do is to like part my hair down the middle straighten it and hopefully cover it up as best as I can or just like wear a hat I mean I have a beanie that I can wear so I can easily do that but I mean like that's only gonna be able to help me out but for so long like once summer gets here it's gonna be way too hot and humid to wear a beanie around on the regular that's why I'm like this is gonna be like so stressful this is like my hair is gonna look crazy for a while and that's the only bit that I'm not looking forward to this like it's probably not gonna look decent until probably maybe eight months to a year in because if I'm remembering correctly when I first started growing up my hair back in 2009 it wasn't until I think June or July that I was able to start straightening my hair. The only issue though is that my hair would not hold the straightness though back then. But then again it could have been like the flat iron that I was using but, but who knows it could also be because of the hair was so short and had never been straightened before and everything so I wasn't holding it very well. Who knows like how this is all going to work out for me. Hopefully it'll work out in my favor. I'm so hoping that it'll work out in my favor. Like about like the eight month or one year mark that's when it's going to start looking okay on the sides. It's not going to be looking good because I mean my hair is super long. I, I know I have my hair in a ponytail right now but you can still get like an idea as to how long my hair is. Like my hair like right now that I'm filming this comes down to like right below my chest just barely. Um, I'm probably going to be getting my inch trim this weekend so that's why I'm saying like right now because I gotta get probably about two or three inches removed because I haven't gotten my ends trimmed in like seven or eight months and my ends are not happy with me right now. I don't know how well you guys can tell but um yeah they are not happy like they're just they need to go away like they're like they're on the verge of divorce so they need to be separated. This is something that I never thought that I would do. Well, and it, well, I say it's something that I never thought that I would do. It's something that I didn't think that I would do so soon. I thought that I would like hold on to having a death hawk for much longer. But it's just like I miss the fullness. I miss having so much hair because my hair is so thick. But having the death hawk just makes my hair look so thin. And I just miss having like such long and thick hair, which is another reason why I want to like grow like my side cuts out completely and everything just go back to a head full of hair and everything so that way I can experience like the full thickness again but it's gonna be so strange because I looked at some pictures of myself um, the other day from before I got like my first side cut done back in 2014 so nearly four years ago and I I was looking at those photos from like four or five years ago and it was weird looking at pictures of myself and not seeing my ears. It was so weird. I, I know it's so strange. Your ears, that's the thing that weirded you out about those photos. Yes, it was my ears. I couldn't see my ears because back then the only times you would ever see my ears is if my hair was brushed back into a ponytail or yeah, that's really about it because I never really like straightened and brushed my hair back. I never did that look until maybe about a year or two ago really. And so it's just weird for me to look at old photos and not see my ears because for the past like going on four years now like in every single photo of me like you see at least one ear. Like it's something that I've grown so used to having so it's like those them going away it's gonna be so strange. So some people might be like oh you don't need to like make a series like this and everything but I want to and part of it is actually because I'm watching um, this one guy on YouTube. His name is Thomas. I can't remember his last name. Um, I'll definitely have his name up on the screen and I'll have his channel linked down below so you guys can go check him out or at least I'll link down um, his hair growth playlist that he has on or like one of his hair growth videos or something like that. Because um, for like maybe like the past year or so, it's probably it's been more than a year I think. Um, but it's been a while but he's been growing out his hair like he had like full-on undercut and now he's growing out his hair and going to like 
having a head full of hair, although our reasons for growing our hair back out to having a head full of hair are completely different. He wants to have a man bun, whereas me, I still want to continue having like long colorful metal head looking hair. Watching his journey and everything like the past year or so of him growing out his hair it's like it, it's kind of like fueling the fire for me to like go through with this process and just like, grow out all my hair entirely and everything just like go back to having a head full of hair and whatnot and I'm very much looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to it a lot and everything. I kind of sort of have him to thank for me wanting to do this, but at the same time, not really because it's ultimately my decision, but mainly the documenting it part is thanks to him, so, because I want to immortalize this journey, everything, and just document the process. I'm thinking probably at the end of the, like the first year mark I'll stop doing it bi-monthly and maybe start doing it like maybe like every six months or whenever there's like I feel like talking about it because I think like for like the first year like there'll be noticeable changes and everything but after that like it'll probably just be like me repeating like the same stuff over and over again it's kind of like how like a lot of like trans youtubers have been doing over the past couple of years like with documenting their transition particularly with like hormone placement therapy like they'll do like monthly or bi-monthly updates and then like after like the one year mark they'll start doing them less often so that's pretty much how it's going to be like with me with like the growing out process i mean this year is just going to be a wild year for me in terms of like my hair because not only am i growing out my death hawk but i'm also am no longer going to be bleaching my roots for a very long time. I don't know when the next time I'll bleach my roots will be. Like, it's gonna be a long time in the future. I'm guessing, who knows, it, this might be the very last time, like, December might have been the very last time I ever bleach my roots ever again. Because I'm wanting to grow my hair out and to have like an ombre type look and everything. So go from my natural color to bright fun colors. So yeah, that's gonna be a fun journey, I can already tell. The past two years now, I've been on the journey of growing out the black in my hair, which I don't know if I'll be able to like meet my dream and be able to have all the black cut out of my hair by my birthday or not, because I don't know if I'll be okay with my hair like being all together one solid length and everything be the same length or if I want to kind of do like I've been doing now and like maintaining like everything like all together like when my hair is down everything would be the same length. Should have done this earlier. But I'm going to go ahead and pop up a quick picture now of where my hair started out at when I last touched up my sides. Whenever I would touch up and trim my death hawk I would shave it down using a half guard which is equivalent to I think it 1.5 millimeters I think is what it was and now I'm here and I'm thinking I'm guessing this is just like an educated guess I can't be 100% sure but I'm close to an inch right now all right so I've been going on about this for a very long time now with introducing this new series and talking about the process and everything and showing you guys like where I'm currently at but that is it for this video I know that it's a bit long but it is the launch of the series and so I want to be able to explain to you guys like why it is I'm doing it and all that other stuff and everything so the upcoming installments for this series will be a lot shorter. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and until I see you guys in my next video, whatever the hell that may be. Goodbye.